Hello and welcome to DTW GED Prep Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to find the surface area of a right or it's also called a triangular prism. Okay, so we're going to calculate the surface area of the shape below. And from our GED math formula sheet, okay, um, the math formula sheet, you're going to get it down here. I'll leave the link also, direct link to download your GED math formula sheet. Okay, for you to use to practice, all right, and uh, you can check out you know, summary notes on science and social studies, uh, practice questions, study guides on in our website, okay, and you can also join our Facebook group. We're over 15,000 uh, members now, community to support you, to know about the GED in all several states in the U.S., your Arizona, um, California, Texas, and all, okay? So, uh I'll leave all the links in the video description box of this video. All right, and please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. All right, so in on the GED math formula sheet, you know, in several textbooks, there are several formulas you can use and several representation letters they do use in several textbooks. But on your formula sheet itself, the surface area of a, of a right prism, let's say SA of a right prism, is equal to P is used to represent the perimeter, H, the height of the prism, then plus two big B. Big B meaning the area of the base, okay? In your formula sheets, there's a difference between the small B and the big B. The small B is just the base, like a base of the triangle, while the big B is the area of the base. P here is the perimeter of the base, okay? P is the perimeter of the base. So let's calculate all these values, then we'll, we'll plug it in here. So first of all, P, the perimeter of the base, that's, this is the base. It's a right prism, a triangular one. So the base is this. So this perimeter, just like looking for the perimeter of the triangle, is 8 plus 6 plus 10. So let's do that, 8 plus 6 plus 10, and that would give us... Uh, 14, 10, that will give us 24. So we have 24 centimeters as the perimeter of the base. Then the height of the prism, height of the prism, not height of the triangle. Height of the prism is from here to here. That's the height of the prism, okay? That's how long the prism is. That's the distance between the two bases, okay? So, and that is 12 centimeter. Now, our big B is the area of the base, which is the area of this triangle. And what's the formula for the area of the triangle? It is half base times height. Okay, you see where I talked about the small b. So here we have half from this triangle here, our base is six. So we have times six and our height is what is eight. Okay, so we have times eight. So here, um, um, we, a 2 can go in, in this 6 here 3 times, and we have 3 times 8, that would give us what, 24. So we've gotten all our values, let's plug them in. So from here, let me just plug them up here. So P, uh, P is 24, that's 24 times, H is 12, then plus 2 times uh, B is what, 24. So here we have 24 times 12 will give us 288. Then 2 times uh, 24 will give us 48. When we add up these two, we're going to get 336 three, centimeter square. Okay? Because this is area, so it will be um, square centimeter. Okay? So this is the answer. All right? So this is how you find the surface area of a right prism using the, the formula on your GED. Uh, formula sheet okay so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video all right please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel please help us grow and um, any questions you have do feel free to comment drop your questions and also finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life he's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us that peace that we desire. All right? He's going to lead us to heaven at last. Even while here that we're still in, on earth, he's going to give us, you know, that life of heaven on earth. It's just us surrounding, our, you know, to surrender ourselves to him. And he's going to take 
control of every aspect of our life and give us that peace, joy, love, good health that he wants for us. All right, so thank you and stay tuned. And I wish you success in your GED test and also in life. You are destined to win.